Makeup Geeks. I am going to do for you guys every year. I review all the major makeup companies' palettes, and then I do a smackdown at the very end, and I choose my, choose, did I just have a little accent right there? I choose my favorite at the very end. Um, when I tape this, you guys, because I know I'm becoming more uh, known as a CEO of Makeup Geek and not Marlena the YouTuber, I want you to have in mind that I'm Marlena the YouTuber right now. So when I do reviews of all these products, there's no malice, there's no anything at all. I'm, you guys know me. I'm very, very honest in my reviews. I have no agenda whatsoever. So when I say a couple negative things about some of these, it's just me being very, very honest in them. But there's several paths that I absolutely love and I'll say positives as well as negatives. I always try to balance it out. I'm never just negative and I don't want to sit here like negative Nancy and be like, this is crap. Toss it. I don't ever say that. I always find positives in different things. But I do have a favorite out of all of this stuff, which you have to watch to the end for me to say which one it is. So, no particular order. Uh, let's start with this one first. This is the Tarte Light of the Party Collector's Makeup Case. I love the packaging on this one. I love how it's the sequins. It's really cool and different. It has like the, um, I don't know what you call it, kind of the Aztec type pattern. I love that it's a case. It zips up. I just, I think the packaging, Tarte always does an amazing job with their packaging. Inside it has one, two, three, four, five, six times four, 24 shadows down here. And there's a nice variety of mattes as well as shimmers. And as you can tell, there's light, mediums, and dark. So as far as variety of choices of the shadows, I think it's amazing. They did such a great job with all of the variety of colors and finishes. Up here at the top, you have your mirror. You have a little mini mascara. And then you have a dual-ended brush. And then you also have this little palette here, which has like, it's like a to-go palette. It has two... Um, I'm sorry, three. Pink Champagne could be a cheek highlighter if you would like it to, or you can use it as shadow. There's a contour and a blush as well, which I love the color choices they chose here because they're not too light, they're not too dark. They're medium range, so they can work for most people um, in that middle market. I know it won't work as well for porcelain or dark, dark skin, but it, they did a good job in choosing something middle range, so hopefully it'll hit a lot of people. And I love how there's a nice variety of shadows in here, ranging from light to dark. So it's a nice little to-go palette you could throw in your purse, take it with you if you're going to party after work for the holiday season, you have these with you. The texture of the shadows is pretty nice. They are very smooth and buttery feeling. The only complaint I had with these is they don't stick to the skin as well. So let me show you guys. So you see how they'll show up on the skin okay. You dust them off a couple times and they disappear. I wish they would stick to the skin a little bit better. The other issue I have with this palette is it's made in China. I have nothing against the country, you guys. I'm just being very honest for me as a consumer standpoint. China is known for not having a very strict FDA with the quality of their ingredients. They usually have a lot of parabens in their um, ingredients. And I look, when I buy this stuff now, just because I make my own makeup, I'm very conscious and aware of what ingredients are in there. I'm looking at the list right now. There's like fluoroflogopite. I've never seen that any ingredient in makeup before. There's some mysterious ones in here that I'd have to research to see what they are. They just aren't common ones. So that's kind of a clue to me that they're made in China because the standard ingredients we use here in the U.S., I don't recognize some of these. So that's my only thing that I get worried about. Granted, I know it's eyeshadows and eyeshadows don't cause you to break out. If this had a lot of face products in it where I'm slathering it all over my face, I would not touch it at all just because I want to be very careful. It's something that doesn't break me out, cause health issues down the road. That's just my personal opinion. Take it for what it is. I'm not bashing the coping at all. I really do love the packaging of it. I think they did an amazing job with the color selection. They are very smooth and soft, so I don't have any complaints other than um, some of the ingredients are mysterious to me and where it's made, and I would like them to stick to the skin a little bit more. But here's the shadows, and let me do like, let me show you a few of the colors just so you guys can see. So there's some of the matte ones. You wipe them off. Let me show you some of the shimmers just so you could see. There's some nice grays in here. There's some tans. There's some taupey colors. There's some of the shimmers. So they are really beautiful. So it's up to you guys if you want to get that or not. You can get it at Sephora. It is $59 for the complete set. 24 shadows plus a mascara brush and a little to-go palette in a cute little case. Okay, next is Kat Von D. 
And this is the, sorry, let me make sure I say this right. This is the Mi Vida Loca Remix. So this is the packaging for it. It comes in a sleek, it's almost like an album cover. You remember the old school from our parents and grandparents era, the albums? I love the packaging. The lettering here is raised, it's embossed, and the palette pulls out. I love the concept of this. Cat, you did an amazing job on the concept. I think it's such a cool idea. I love that it's like a... A circle of colors you have some neutrals in the center um, this one's made in the USA I know the lab that makes these um, cats shadows and they do an amazing job it's a great lab very high quality they treat their staff well I love um, the texture of these let me swatch some of them for you guys I'm so excited I'm losing my voice <laughs> so here's some of the swatches let me put them on the back of my hand so the shimmer ones to me in this palette stick better than the mattes See when I'm dusting it, do you see how the shimmer one stayed, but some of the matte ones didn't stay as well? That's my only uh, complaint with this palette, but I think it's a great quality. They're very smooth. They feel great to the touch. I just wish the matte ones would stick to the skin a little bit more, but I love the variety of colors. I love how there's mixtures of shimmers, mattes, lights, darks, all sorts of colors. I think she did a kick butt job on the selection of them. Let me swatch a few more for you guys. This one's $59 as well. You can get this at Sephora. And let me swatch some of these. My hand's still a little bit wet, but look at the shimmer one. Do you see how vivid it is? The mattes, you know, again, they aren't as sticky to the skin, but I think they're still really smooth and amazing. I like this one a lot. I don't have many complaints about it. I think it's very innovative, very cool. $59 for that one. Okay, while we're on Kat's products, I know this isn't really a palette, but I wanted to talk about them because they're so freaking cool. She has these, I'm sorry, I'm getting winded. I'm so excited and talking so much. So pardon my raspy, sexy voice today. <laughs> uh, but she has these metal crush shadows that came out. You could buy them individually. They aren't sold as a set like this. Um, this was sent to me, but you guys know that I'm always honest. A lot of the stuff I did buy myself, but I don't um, discriminate. If I bought it or it was sent to me, I'm always very, very honest. As you guys are well aware, I give you know, positives and negatives for everything. <laughs> um, these shadows are $21 a piece. You can get these at Sephora. She has, um, I believe, 10 different colors. Okay, I'm going to give a moment of silence for this. You know why? Wait till I swatch this. Look at that. Um, yes. Yes, girl, yes. You did such a freaking good job on these shadows. That's why I wanted to talk about them in this video. These are amazing. Look how pigmented that is and shiny. The formula is incredible. They are so creamy smooth. You guys have to get at least a couple of these for the holidays. Give them as gifts. I am almost would dare to say to skip the palettes this year and get some of these shadows and put them in the stocking stuffer. They're freaking amazing. Let me show you another color. That one was um, Paranoid. This burgundy one's really pretty too. This one is Raw Power. Try not to flip you guys off. Look at that. No primer. Sticks right to the skin. The formula is incredible. Hold on. Let me show you this green one. If you guys like bright colors, this is Electric Warrior. And look how cool the packaging is. They're so bright and fun. She just did a really good job with this. I want to like go give her a hug and say congratulations. These are amazing. Um, Look at that. Look how intense that is. These are definitely one of my favorite things that have come out lately. I think you guys should check those out. So again, they're $21, 10 different colors. You can get them from Sephora. They're called the Metal Crush Shadows. Okay, let me wipe off my hand. Next, we have the Lorac Mega 2 Pro Palette. That is this one right here. This is a sleek cardboard palette. It's similar to the one that came out last year, but this is version number two. Inside, it has 32 shadows. Sorry, some of them are dinged up because I've been messing around with it. There's an excellent variety of lights up to darks, um, colors, neutrals, shimmers, mattes. Amazing selection here. I think this is a great palette for beginners. If you don't have a lot of shadows, you want something just to play around with, I think it's great to start with. The feeling of these is very smooth, and it goes back to the same thing. They're almost a little too smooth because when you go to swatch them, so here's some of the shadows, if you guys can see. 
Okay, so the purple one showed up pretty good, but then you dust it a couple times and they don't stick to the skin as well. They're not bad at all. I, I'm not saying they're bad. I just wish they weren't as soft so they stick onto the skin a little bit better. It'll make them last a little bit longer throughout the day if they're not quite as smooth, but I think they're beautiful shadows. I actually like the matte ones better than the shimmers. Here's some of the shimmers. So beautiful selection. Dun, 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 dun. The shimmer stick to the skin a little bit more and that's usually because there's more binder in there. I do think the quality is there with, with this palette. I think the price point is amazing. It's $59, you get 32 shadows. Sleek package, I think it's a very, very cool palette. I'm very excited to have it. Now this is my only complaint. Now you guys know I like to give both sides. I give positive and I give you know a little negative. I look at the origin of where this is made and it says assembled in the US of US and non-US materials. It does not say where the actual shadows are made. That to me is a little sketch. I don't even know how that's legal to do that because you have to disclose where it's made. And I've been doing research online, trying to find out where it's made. I cannot find anything at all. And I'm trying to, um, hold on guys, I'm trying to look at the ingredients in here to figure it out. I'm like a detective now with everything. <laughs> um, it has, the ingredients aren't horrible, but it does have some parabens in it, and it has propyl paraben, methyl paraben. Those are preservatives, and there's a little controversy with, with that, whether they're harmful or not, so it's up to you guys. I don't think the ingredient deck is as clean as I would like it to be. It has some mineral oil in there as well, which can cause some people to break out. It is eyeshadow, so it's not as big of a deal, but I wish that they would disclose exactly where these are made, because it just seems a little shady to me. That's my only thing. I don't mean anything bad by it. You guys know me. I'm just trying to be honest, but but I really do think it's worth checking out. I think it's great quality. They have a great selection of colors. They did such a good job with it, and I love how sleek the packaging is. So that's what I'm gonna say on that, and I'll let you guys decide on that. It's $59. You can get this one at Ulta. Okay, next is the Too Faced Stardust Palette by Vegas Nay. Hi, Vegas Nay. <laughs> She's such a sweetie pie, and her kids are so cute. She has pictures of her new little baby girl on her Instagram. She's so pretty. But anyways, her palette, good job, girl. She has um, 12 shadows in here, and then it also comes with a mascara and then a primer in there as well. The cost of this, I bought this one. This is $45. So I'm just going to show you guys the palette right now. But here's the palette. It's cardboard. It's very thin and sleek. This is a great palette to take with you. Now, I know where this one is made. This is made at a very good lab as well. This is made in the USA, which is good. You know, um, you know the ingredients are going to be... Uh, you know, up to our FDA standards. I'm sorry I'm getting into a lot of ingredients now. I can't help it, you guys. I, I have a whole different look on cosmetics now because I know the back end, and I'm like, okay, what is that ingredient? How come that's in there? <laughs> but I love the quality of these. They're very smooth. Let me swatch them for you guys. These are the matte ones. Okay, so here's the four mattes. And they're very smooth. They're very buttery. These, to me, stick to the skin a little bit more. Do you see how I'm dusting them off and they stick on there? So I do like the quality of them. I love the selection of shadows she chose. I think they're beautiful. She has, you know, light up to medium and dark. She has some shimmers in here. Let me swatch the shimmers. So I feel like I'm rambling. And then between my voice, I'm like, okay, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> So there's the shimmer shadows. Aren't they beautiful? She did a great job. The only negative I have about this is I um, there's a couple shadows that are too similar. Chandelier and Selfie are a little bit close to me. And these are very hard to wear if you have medium to dark skin. It only works for fair skin. That's the only complaint I have. Outside of that, I really don't have anything. I think she did a beautiful job. The quality's there. The ingredient deck is good. The packaging is sleek. It's beautiful. The price, you can't beat the price. $45. You get this and some travel size items with it as well. I think that's great. You can get this at all. Ulta. That's where I bought mine. Okay. Next we have the Makeup Forever palette. This is the Makeup Forever 15 Artist Shadow Palette. It has a glittery... I wish you guys could reach through there and pet this. It's a glittery finish. It's really cool. It's different. It's pretty bold. But inside, it has 15 shadows. And there's lots of colors. Let me see if you guys could see all of that. These are all um, very, very pigmented. They range, they aren't totally matte. They have quite a bit of shimmer to them. So most of them, if not all of them actually, are very shimmery. Let me show you guys. The, the formula of these is incredible. These are made in Italy. I know this lab as well. It's a luxury lab. And they do great work. And the ingredients that they use are very good. But there is the 
pigments or the swatches of those. Look how pigmented they are. And they stick to the skin really well because they have a very creamy feeling to them. This formula is killer. The only thing I would say with this one is I wish there was a couple mattes in there. If I'm gonna take this with me traveling, I would like to have a couple mattes to blend them out with. But as long as you know that these are gonna be you know, all shimmers and you bring another set along with this, if you travel with it, it's fine. But I love how sleek it is. I love the quality of the shadows, the price. For Makeup Forever, they price this down really, really well. Usually they don't come down like this, but it's for 15 shadows is $59. And for that quality, you cannot beat that. I think it's a great palette you guys should check out. I got mine at, where did I buy this one? I think Sephora. So $59 for that one. And then lastly, I have the Smashbox. This is the Art Love Color Palette. This one's $65. This is, this is the only one that's a little bit more. It comes in a thick book like this. I love, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm winded, you guys. I think I'm coming down with something. <laughs> I think I'm starting to get sick. I'm like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> but I still want to tape this because I was so excited about all these products. I'm such a makeup junkie. I'm like, I want to show you guys. So the packaging on this is very cool. It's embossed and has that very glossy feeling. So I like the outer part of it. Now I will show you inside. Okay, Smashbox products in general, freaking amazing. I love the quality of them. They're very smooth, they're pigmented, all that stuff, but their packaging to me, please fix your packaging. You see how it has the plastic lid? It's so cheap to me, and every Smashbox palette I've gotten has broken in some spot within a couple weeks. So the packaging, I'm sorry to say it, I'm not trying to be negative, but it's crap. But the product is great, so it's hard for me because I want to say lots of good things about it because I love Smashbox eyeshadows. I think they're beautiful, but the packaging drives me crazy because these hinges guarantee in a couple weeks they break off because it's this like cheap plastic. And I feel for $65 with the competition of other brands, the packaging should be a little bit better. Look how pigmented, all that stuff. And look how they stick to the skin really well. These are mattes. Look at that. The shadows are great. I just wish the packaging was better. <laughs> it has lots of great variety of colors. Let me show you guys again the colors so you can see. There's purples, pinks, corals, blues, all that great stuff. It's such a fun palette for those of you who like to experiment and wear lots of colors. It has a few neutrals in, the, in there as well, but it's a lot of colors in there. And there's a good variety of shimmers and mattes and all of that. I just wish the packaging was a little bit better. For me... If I'm going to take this in a kit, say I'm working on a client or I'm traveling, I wouldn't take this with me because it's so thick and bulky. It's very hard to work with. If it was a little bit sleeker made out of a cardboard palette, I'd be more prone to use it a lot more. I just feel like it's very clunky to pull out. All right, so out of all the palettes, drum roll please. Who won the SmackDown this year? I am actually going to have to say Kat Von D won with the Mi Vida Loca. Now here's why, because the quality is pretty good. Even though they don't stick to the skin all of the colors, I think they're still beautiful colors. There's a great variety. I think this is so innovative. No other makeup company has done something like this with the round circle, all the cool colors, the big album type packaging. I just think it's very creative and different. And I love that it's made in the USA. I love that, you know, I know what the ingredients are. I don't feel scared about putting these on my lid. I just think she did a great job. I love everything about this. I think it's a beautiful palette. So that's my winner for this year. Yay, good job, Kat Mundy. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I hope you understand where I'm coming from and know that I, I promise you I'm being very honest. I know some people don't like that, but I'm just, I'm going to say what I think about it because I'm a consumer as well and I buy a lot of stuff still and I want to make sure what I'm putting on is safe and that, um, you know, years down the road, I'm not going to end up with some like, I don't know, eye disease or something. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have fun with your makeup shopping. Happy holidays and I will talk to you soon. Bye.